Hello everyone and thank you so much for being here. So today's video is gonna be all about 2019 fashion trends. I am only gonna be naming 10 of them. Obviously there are way more than 10, but I wanted to go with some new ones and I wanted to show you some that are practical to wear and I'm also gonna show you guys how to wear these 10 trends. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned and let's get to the video. So the first trend I want to talk about, which I am completely loving, I talked about it a little bit in a video last year that I made on fashion trends as well. It is the Western trend, and so last time I talked about the Western boots, I think we saw a lot of Western type of boots, cowboy boots, really making its way into the fall season. I'm still in love with those. I'm going to show you how I would use my red boots today, but a lot of the stuff that's coming back for Western, especially the springtime is fringe now this may not be something so totally new the fringe is super fun because when it comes to springtime a lot of festivals roll around this is a great way to dress up you're gonna see them in a lot of skirts in dresses a lot of them in jackets like moto jackets and leather jackets and things like that if you're into the cowboy boot trend a lot of times people think it's super hard to wear but really you just treat it like any other boot you would it is such a fun statement piece different from your typical boot and that's what makes it super fun if you were to go with a French jacket you would just basically use that as your accessory a lot of basics underneath it would be easy an easy way to dress it up all right second trend I want to talk about are bold colors now this is again nothing new at all especially when springtime rolls in we start to see a lot more color moving away from the darker colors into the more brighter colors a lot of neon started coming back also late into like the fall season but I think we're still gonna be seeing neon a lot this year I'm not the biggest fan of neon but again if you were to try out that trend you would definitely want to dress it down because neon itself just speaks really loudly or you could try just bold colors in general so maybe not neon but just brighter hues like red fuchsias I think the easiest way to wear these colors is for like a resort wear maybe you're going on a vacation these types of colors are perfect for the beach and again if you do want to try color but you're a little bit scared of too much color again dress it down pair it with things that are a little more toned down maybe a black blazer maybe a denim jacket maybe just pairing a brighter colored top with plain jeans black pants things like that that way they kind of balance each other out okay third trend are florals florals is something that always 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 makes its way back to spring summertime to me I feel like florals are always in no matter what because I feel like this past fall we saw a bunch of florals I was wearing a lot of florals for fall and the more we move away from the winter time the more these pastel colored florals are going to be coming into play obviously you can wear them any way you like pairing them with jeans wearing them to work you can really kind of wear a floral in any occasion and that's what's great about it all right next up I want to talk about khaki khaki is is not just a color it is also like a military inspired type of clothing I think that's kind of like the thought behind khaki we always look at khaki maybe for khaki pants for work that's definitely something we're taking from when it comes to the khaki trend maybe you think of heavier duty trench coats when you think of khaki and that is definitely the route that we're going with this it's definitely more masculine a lot of it is also military inspired but it's also such a great neutral neutral color to pair with whites it looks clean it looks fresh especially going in the springtime or you can definitely still wear your fall items with it blacks and things like that if you want more of like a darker look again it's like bringing this old school item that we used to see a lot back in the day making it new again you can definitely make it chic all right the next item I want to talk about is shimmer or sequins now I feel like these things are things that people are a little bit afraid of wearing on a normal day but I feel like we're seeing more and more these types of shinier materials metallics and things like that obviously it was big for the holiday but I think the key here to using these shinier items is again to dress them down use them as layering pieces maybe under blazers and jackets and things like that and again if you are going maybe to like a girls night out a nice dinner these are items that you would showcase make your accessory make it stand out super easy to wear to events like that because you just throw it on and you're good to go you can tone them down by pairing it with jeans you could make it chic by pairing some trousers with it it's definitely not something to be afraid of next trend is large hats now I'm talking 
large, oversized, floppy hats. I'm not sure if you guys ever came across the picture that was kind of roaming around Instagram or the internet with this beautiful model woman just wearing this huge, oversized, like tan colored floppy hat. And I think we saw a lot of that on the runway this past September. So large brimmed, wide brimmed hats are gonna be super popular. Great thing about a hat is that if even if you are afraid of wearing it, just think of it as an accessory, kind of like a necklace, the thing that just kind of makes your or completes your outfit. You can wear the simplest thing, maybe just like a button down shirt with a pair of jean shorts, Throw on a hat, you just automatically look so much more accessorized and put together. I don't have one of those wide brim floppy hats, but I do have a newer one from Lack of Color that is dark brown and felt material, and it's pretty wide brimmed even for me. That's probably the largest in hat size that I would go, and they look great in pictures. All right, next I wanna talk about the puffy shoulders, and I know I kinda of talked a lot about it, maybe even showed a lot of it in some of my videos from last year. But I just love the puffy shoulders just because they're so different and so unique And I feel like they make any outfit look all the more dressed up. They look so cute in little crop tops Maybe if you're going on a vacation like a beach tropical vacation or they look great long sleeved pair them with some trousers and some jeans They're just so bold and such a power play when it comes to an outfit. They really started making its way big time during this last autumn, but they're definitely here to stay. They're super easy to wear. Any bottoms will go, and that's the great thing about it. You can pair them with shorts, skirts, jeans, trousers. All right, next I wanna talk about pleats. Now, whenever I think of pleats, I think of kinda like schoolgirl, but we're gonna see a lot of that this year. And I think they're super fun. The texture of them make it something different. I have a pleated skirt that I've kept for so many years that I just always felt would come back, and here they are. Now, the pleats on my skirt are a little wider. We're gonna see a lot of like smaller, thinner pleats coming around, and I feel like the easiest way to wear pleats pleats is in skirts because you could just throw on any top, make it look more chic by throwing on like a cami and a blazer over it. All right, the next trend I wanna talk about, I'm not quite sure how I feel about just yet. Um, it's tie-dye. Now this is such a retro trend, but I feel like we might be seeing it a lot, especially come festival time. I don't have anything tie-dye to show you, but I'm gonna show you some pictures on how it may look chic. So maybe if you're on a vacation and you wanna wear a maxi dress, a tie-dye print could be appropriate, make it chic, wear it for a resort wear. But again, if you wanna try the trend, you're also not sure about it, same thing with the rest of them. Dress it down because tie-dye itself is already pretty loud and busy. And a quick tip for trying any of these trends or any other trends that you want to try, maybe you kind of like but you're not so quite sure about, is to start small. Don't spend too much or don't invest too much money on any one trend. Maybe go to a Forever 21, see what you can find try it out and then if you see that you really love it then you can move on to more expensive items if you find one that you love that is more expensive all right lastly my 10th trend i want to talk about are shorts now you may be like okay that's nothing new that's not even a trend but i'm talking more like preppy longer more practical wearing shorts now last year we saw the biker short making it such a big bold statement and they're kind of going away hopefully i'm not the biggest fan of it but for this year going into the summertime especially we're gonna see longer shorts i myself i'm not used to shorts that are longer just because i'm already short but i am gonna try to embrace them i have a couple they're not as long as what we're talking about. I think from my height, they're more doable. And if you're like me where you're shorter and maybe some of these shorts are a little too long, you could fold them at the bottom and add a belt. That way it kind of fills up that space that there is with the longer short. It's not your typical jean short. It's not as casual as what a jean short will look like. So you can use them to different parties or events and still look dressed up. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which trend you are looking forward to this year. And if you made it to the end of this video and you're new to my channel, you like what you see, please consider subscribing. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. That way you get notified every time I put out a new video. And also if you want daily outfit inspirations, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm Naomi Boyer and I'll see you in my next video.
just wanna 